we're going to go live. We're going live with Andy. Hi, Maddie. How long do you want, love? On BBC Radio Lancashire. It's on now. It's not smooth up then. Four minutes. We'll do. Two minutes. It's four minutes long, this one. Right, so we're going to, at that point, we're going to walk upstairs together into the heat and describe upstairs. Yeah. After we've done that, then I'll come and chat to you about how do you go about converting a double decker bus into this place. All right. Well, I'll start. Okay. And then back to you to talk about the launch day, why it's been delayed, yeah. etc., and talk about the training. So it's in three parts. Okay. So down here first, yeah. then we walk upstairs, a bit more with you, yeah. and then to you. A very good afternoon to you, Shaz. Yes, I've got my scarf on and my big coat, but uh, I really don't need it on board this bus, you know, because it's so cosy and warm. More about that in just a moment, but welcome to the Big Red Night Bus, which is all but finished. Now, we visited this bus back in the summer, and it was a bit of a, it was a shell then, and they were just putting in the wooden frames and everything that was needed to create this bus. Uh, today, it's finished, and it's uh, about to go out um, next month, but we're finding out about that from, uh, from Mark Butcher, who is from the Amazing Grays charity. Mark, this is just absolutely amazing. What a beautiful finished product. Yeah, we're so pleased with it, Andy. It's a complete um, old wall. You, you, you can't recognise it, can you? And uh, the thing is a lot better than we ever imagined it, even in our drawings. So, you know, congratulations to these guys that have been working hard to build this. So how did the idea come about? Why a big red night bus? Well, it was born out of frustration many years ago, I suppose, to seeing people that had sort of slipped through the system. And there was those people that were forgotten on the street. So. We, we couldn't get any assistance for them, so we created the thought of creating something that would assist those people. Not just the homeless as well, this bus is going to be here to help other people in emergency situations. Domestic violence people in other situations that are fleeing from things. So we, we do need this emergency facility and that's why it's developed really. So what facilities do you have on board? Uh, we've got, well, it's, uh, first of all we've got the lower deck with the, 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 the toilets and shower facility with all lighting and heating inside there. There's a washing machine and dryer. Uh, we've got a, a small kitchen area with a kettle with a hot water and microwave. So we're going to have sort of snacks and brews and tea and coffees and things like that here. We've also got a seating area. Um, with Lovely blue seating area I can yeah. describe for you with a table at the back. This is right at the back of the bus. Um, so you, you can join all your pals like you used to maybe on the back seat of the bus. But this is really, really cosy. There's a, a television here as well. And yeah. there's some lockers as well. The lockers are there just for people to put their personal belongings in and feel safe and comfortable doing that. And then when they go up, upstairs to the decks, they can sleep at peace. Let's go upstairs because this is a real treat. I'm going up the staircase now, and uh, it looks like a nightclub actually when you go up because it's got those LED lights underneath the stairs. Now, as we reach the top end of this bus, the first thing that you spot is how nice and warm oh, it is. is. Yes. yes, how nice and warm it is, and it's fully air conditioned and temperature gauge, so we can have the temperature just at this nice heat or we can go but if it's colder we can go even a bit higher and yeah. each one of the pods have got their own individuals as well so they can put their personal belongings underneath they can hang their clothes up pull the curtain across and they're comfortable yeah. in situation with all the mattresses to go in yet so there's two four six eight, ten, ten, bunks. ten bunks ten bunks here. in total we're going to use the six at the front for the males and we've got four bunks at the rear which will have there's a lockable door there mm -hmm. uh, it's like a toilet door so we can open it from 
either way, but it just gives anybody, um, females, that added mm -hmm. extra security. Marvellous. Plus we've got the night facility with people being on board, checking out everybody all night long. How much does it all cost? Big question, big number. It came in, started off at a number that we didn't, if we'd have known the number at the beginning, Andy, I don't suppose we would have even dared to carry on with it. It came in at 104,000 in the end with the VAT. Well, let's talk to uh, Mike Rogers from uh, Blackpool Design Coach Builders, whose job it was to fit this bus out. Mm. What did you say when he came to you with the big bus and said, can you turn it into uh, oh, what is basically a palace on wheels? Uh, initially, I thought it was a madman. But no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, every customer that comes to us always has wild ideas, I suppose. But for this one, it was important we got it right because it's, it's for an amazing thing, you know. It's going out there to help a lot of people. so. Uh, it's really important we, we got it on the nail. I think we have. Uh, as it's progressed, he's added things, and that's why it's, that's why it's escalated <laughs> that's why it's a little bit more. <laughs> yeah. You've got a delay on the launch. What's that for? We've had, we've had to worry about the training and the policies and the procedures. The last few weeks have been really focused on that. The staff, we need the bus in our possession as a final product before we can complete the training and the policies and procedures. So we're going to spend the next few weeks until January the 20th getting ourselves well in tuned in in all of the correct policies, procedures, health and safety and everything necessary to keep ourselves and the volunteers and our passengers safe. How much needed is this on the file coast, Mark? Really is needed. I was out this morning and um, met a gentleman who's in the doorway on, a, on the promenade in Blackpool at Manchester Square. He's in a desperate state, he's suffering from hypothermia. We've called an ambulance for him actually and um, this bus would this that gentleman that we've seen this morning this bus would save his life it, you know it would get him off the streets and no questions asked and get him into a safe secure place where we could at least try and look after him and give him some options mark we wish you luck with the launch of the big red night bus hey and, thank uh, you andy god miss, bless you thanks you for a, supporting a happy us. christmas as well and uh, mike well done on a perfect yeah. fit out thanks very much <laughs> well there done, you go mike. shells this is the place to be if you fancy a night out in blackpool if you're really in need of somewhere to stay then the big red night bus is going to be here to provide for those who really need it this this new year. Thanks Manny, cheers.